Grand Rising loved ones, welcome back to another episode of Healing Wisdom with me, your favorite spiritual advisor, Empress Oracle. So today, we're, the topic that we're going to talk about is you have to give to get. Now, when I say that, I'm definitely referring to our blessings, our abundance, just anything that we want out of life, the things that we pray for. The things that we ask God or source or universe divine to bless us with, our manifestations, the things that we are actively working towards to be better individuals from the inside out and vice versa. All right. A lot of times we as people, we expect more from God than we are willing to give. And that's not fair. That's just like if you had a friend or a relative or somebody who they always were coming to you asking you for things. It doesn't matter from a cup of sugar to, to co-sign on their vehicle. They're always asking, you're always giving, but what are they giving you in return? Everything in life technically is some type of barter system. Everything, every healthy exchange should be an exchange of energy. And that's not just with humans, but that's also with God or source. All right. You can't just keep on asking, but you're not giving. I'm going to go ahead and skip through my notes because for that, I just have to say that there's a verse in the Bible that talks about that as well. Second Tim Timothy, verse 2 and 15, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay. And I, just to clarify a little bit more, I'm going to read another version of it that maybe you guys can understand a little bit better. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word. So basically, if you're asking for things, you have to show that you are worthy of it. You have to give something in order to show that you are approved. You have to be down for the cause, for the struggle, because nothing in life is going to come easy. Even the people who are already physically wealthy and abundant, they still have things that they have to sacrifice. They may have to sacrifice their time. It's a lot of other things they may have to sacrifice in order to reap things. And it's the same thing when we are praying and we're asking and we're manifesting things. We're going to have to sacrifice certain things in order to get the things that we want, in order to show that that's what we truly want. Because a lot of times it's all about evolution and self-development. And that's what a lot of people fail to realize. We have to understand that there is no reward without sacrifice. And a lot of times we will be tested to see if we are willing to give up our everyday carnal pleasures in order to receive true long-term abundance. And quite frankly, a lot of people are not. A lot of people don't have consistency or longevity in order to reap the, re the rewards that they seek. The things that we pray for and stuff. We want God to bless us with these things. But think about it. A lot of us, if we were to be blessed with the things that we ask for, a lot of us would just fuck it off. Excuse my French. A lot of us say we want to win the lottery and everything. However, we do not take care of our finances as it is right now. We spend our money on things that really don't serve us long term. And we really have nothing of true value to show for it. So why would you ask God to bless you with something that you can't handle? If you want to be blessed with something, you have to show God or spirit or source divine that you are able to handle that. Because he's not going to give you more than you can handle. Point blank, period. I remember when I was growing up in the church, I remember there was this church story where um, somebody, I don't remember if it was a man or a woman, but they went complaining to the Lord saying, oh my gosh, my cross is so heavy. I'm so tired. I have all these burdens. And God said, okay, I tell you what, I'm going to take you to the room full of crosses and I'm going to let you pick your cross, right? And then the person went into the room and was looking at the different crosses, just like three little bears. And was like, oh, nah, this cross is too short. This cross, the wood is too rough, X, Y, and Z. And finally, they found a perfect cross that they felt like was just right. The weight was just right. The length was just right. It wasn't dragging too much. You know, they had a good pace with it and everything. And they was like, okay, God, I like this cross. And God was like, <laughs> gave a little chuckle and was like, that's your cross that you already had. That's something that a lot of us have to think about. A lot of times, we want certain things. But we don't realize that God gives us exactly what we deserve. And if we want more, then we have to give more. 
If we want more abundance, if we want more wealth, we have to be willing to sacrifice, to give the time, to give the offerings, right? Sometimes those the sacrifices are the things that we love to do, but they're really what's holding us back. And that's what we have to really, you know, take into consideration when we ask for these things, right? What are you willing to give up? What are you willing to sacrifice for what you want? A lot of times we want our own businesses. We want to be wealthy and abundant, but we don't want to burn the midnight oil and work on ourselves, work on our professionalism, hone our crafts. Instead, we want to be out in the club instead of taking the time to work on the things that we want to be recognized for. And it just doesn't always work that way. Some things, yes, we can shoot from the hip, right? Some things we can freestyle, but other times we got to sit down and we really have to, you know, put that work into it. We have to be able to put into what we want in order to receive the things that we pray for. We also tend to lack longevity and sacrifice and prefer a quick fix, which reaps no long-term rewards. I'm going to read that again for the people in the back. We also tend to lack longevity and sacrifice. Longevity and sacrifice and prefer a quick fix, which reaps no long-term rewards. And that is very true. When I was younger, I used to do that all the time. I used to pray like, Lord God, let me get this X, Y, and Z. And once I started seeing things start to go in the way in which I was praying or manifesting, I'd be like, okay, I'm good. Boom, back to my old ways. And as quick as I got it, I would lose it. And that's what we have to realize, okay? Sometimes we have to sacrifice things permanently for what we want. Sometimes we have to sacrifice things for longer than planned or expected in order to get what we want. Sometimes, you know, you might want this bomb-ass job and you saying, okay, I'm just going to stop smoking just to pass the drug test to get the job. Knowing good and well, this job pays six figures and they do random drug tests, Right? So you're going to have to sacrifice doing your drugs if you want to make that money because, you know, long term, that money is going to help you out in life. So we have to stop being selfish. That's just an example I'm using. I don't know why that came to me, but here we are. That's just the example I'm using. But we have to learn that sometimes some of the sacrifices that we have to make in order for our highest good, in order to help us on the path in which we want to go, sometimes they are long term. Everything can be a quick fix. And that's the problem, living in this microwave age where everybody wants everything fast, quick, and in a hurry. True manifestation takes time. The longer it takes, the bigger the blessing. I'm not saying you wait forever for certain things. That's why we have discernment to know when to throw the towel in on certain things and when to keep pushing. You know, if you are the type of person who is balanced, you go out in nature, you meditate, you pray, you do whatever it is to keep your mind and your heart and your spirit aligned, then you will know the difference. It's very important to know that. We ask a lot of God. We ask a lot of source. We ask a lot of the universe and divine. But what are we willing to give? A quick thank you, sometimes that's not enough. That's not enough. That's what we have to realize as, as humans, you know, it's just a tendency of human nature to get so caught up in you and what you're doing and your life and your path. But you have to realize that that is also a part of paying it forward. And that is how you get your blessings and your abundance. Okay. Sometimes you have to make those sacrifices. It's very important. Sometimes what we need to give is not material. It's just our mind or our time. You heard that? Sometimes what we need to give is not material. It's just our mind or our time. Boom. Mind blown, right? It's crazy. And you know, as, as small as that may seem, that is harder for people. It's harder for people to give their mind. It's harder for people to give their time because time is the one thing that you can't get back. But when we really think about what we're actually dedicating our time to and we're seeing the fruitfulness of it or the lack thereof, then we will realize that sometimes the sacrifice is worth the reward. And that's what we have to give in order to get exactly what we want in its fullness, right? Because I know everybody is, is going for the best. You should, especially if you're a person of high value. We are always willing to give for the things that we want, 
but hesitant to give for the things that we need, right? And that's that's spiritual and material. For example, we always tripping on, damn, I got to pay these lights. I got to pay this water bill again. But we're not cavemen, right? You'd be, you'd be really upset if you had to bang two rocks together and build a fire every night in order to see. But yet people don't want to pay their bills on time to help with these functions. But they'll stand in line and stay overnight for a PS5 or for the new Jordans. That, that has a lot to do with the priorities as well. You're willing to give for one, but not for the other, right? And that's just not the way it goes. Everything is a barter system, as I said before. You can't expect to just naturally be blessed with lights and gas and stuff, right? When you're not willing to pay your bills. But yet, you're going to make that sacrifice for those new J's that drop on the 15th. Make it make sense. Oh, okay. It, it doesn't. I didn't think so. I didn't think so. That has a lot to do with our precondition, with preconditioning from society, from people around us, our peers, whatever, and feeling as though we are owed certain things or that they should just come naturally. And everything does not come naturally. Yes, fire does come naturally, right? We can see with that and stuff. But as I said before, in this day and age with technology and stuff, who really wants to be rubbing sticks to make a fire to keep warm and X, Y, and Z, Right? That's true to some extent, but, but with spirituality, you must be willing to give freely in order to receive abundantly, point blank, period. That's the best way to manifest because as I say all the time, God knows your heart and your intentions. So it doesn't matter if you give, it's how you give. It's the intentions behind the things that you do, right? You have to give in order to get, but if you do it with a, with a grudging heart or unwillingly, or if you do it just with the intention that you can receive something back, Nine times out of ten, you're not going to be blessed the way that you should. Even if you are blessed a little bit, it's not going to be to the scale that it will be or that it's supposed to be, right? Because God always knows your heart. Do your best to present yourself to God as one. Oh, sorry. Look at me reading the thing, reading the thing all over again. I guess that's a sign that I need to read it again. So 2 Timothy verse 2 and 15, I'm going to read the, you know, more layman's term version of it again. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word, right? So I'm going to clarify that for you again. Study to show thyself approved. So you say you want certain things. What are you willing to give? What are you willing to put into it? How much work are you willing to put into it? You have to give to get. In order to be blessed, you must pass the test. Therefore, you have to give to get. Go ahead, let that sizzle in your spirit, guys. With that being said, I hope everybody is blessed and has a wonderful, beautiful day. I have a busy week ahead of me, but I love you all. Feel free to check me out on YouTube as well, Empress Oracle 333. Be blessed.